Hello. Today, I want to take you through a process of creating a layout that you can use in your final project. To do that, make sure that you have ArcMap ArcGIS Pro up and running. The first thing we want to do is create a map layout. Go to, on the top ribbon, click on Insert, click on New Layout, and you'll see a number of layout formats uh, appear. I'm going to go ahead and select ANSI Landscape 11 by 17. And what you'll see happen is that that, that layout is going to load into your uh, ArcGIS Pro map window. Okay, now that we have the map, now that we have the map layout uh, on the screen, we need to add some guide, uh, some guidelines around it to help us uh, place the map and the associated information we're going to be adding. So to do that, in this top horizontal guide uh, bar, just right click anywhere, click Add Guides. Okay, in the Add Guide dialog box, it comes up for orientation. Click both. For placement, click offset from edge. And for margin, click 0 0.25 inches and then click OK. And the guide bars are added around your mouth. Now we need to add a couple more guide bars uh, so that we can make so that we can properly place our map and the associated information we're going to be adding. Okay, so on, the, on this <clears throat> top uh, guide bar, click on 13, right click on 13 and click add guide and you'll see a line has been added. Go over and click, <clears throat> go over about four ticks to the right of 13, click, right click add guide. And uh, we now have our vertical guides have been added. We need to add two more horizontal guides, so go over to the to the left hand side on the vertical guide bar, click on one, click add guide, click on 10, click add guide. And now we have the basic uh, area where we're gonna uh, install our map and uh, the associated information we're going to be adding in the next few steps. Okay, to add our map, <clears throat> the insert tab should be selected. Click Map Frame, click the, the down arrow on Map Frame, then click Map Layers, and your map, your current map layer should be loaded onto the screen. Now you'll notice that this uh, map layer comes up and it has um, anchor points at each corner and then midway on the horizontal and, and vertical uh, axes. So we need to move this map into position. To do that, you'll notice that your cursor is now looks like horizontal and vertical arrows. So just um, with your mouse, just drag that map to the left until it hits the guide. Now we need to move the right side of the map into position. And to do that, Grab that mid anchor point with your mouse, hold them down a mouse key and bring it over to 13. Okay, now we have our map in place. Now we have to add some other items. We're gonna add a north arrow, a scale bar and a legend. To add a north arrow, click the down arrow <clears throat> under map surrounds, Click the down, under, uh, down arrow under north arrow. We've got a number of north arrows that we can select. I'm going to select the ArcGIS North 19. So click on that. It will appear in your map layout. When it appears, you'll see that there's anchor points around it. That means it can be moved. So with your mouse, click inside it and then move that arrow 
north arrow to wherever you want. Now you may need to rescale it so that it'll fit. So to do that, just grab a corner anchor point and adjust it accordingly, okay? Once you get that in place, go back up to insert, scale bar, click on, click, right click on, <clears throat> hang on a second here, let me get rid of this. Right, right click on that down arrow key on the scale bar and you have a number of selections for scale bars. Uh, click Imperial. I'm going to go ahead and click Alternating Scale Bar 1. Again, it appears in your <clears throat> map layout. Click inside the scale bar and drag it down to the location where you would like to put it. Once it's placed, go back up to Insert, Map Surrounds, click on Legend. Once you click on legend, create a box in the right side blank area next to your map. And your legend should appear. Now your legend, your legend now appears and you can <clears throat> resize the box around it accordingly just by grabbing one of the uh, anchor points. Okay, now once that legend is up there, you can actually um, put a background on that. And to put a background on it, you know, under the format legend and the brush or display tool, click on that. And you'll see a number of options come up. What we want to do is under background uh, symbol, click this down arrow next to background color. Pick a color that suits you. And we now have a background color that highlights our, our legend. Let's do one other thing with legend though. Let's, um, Let's make sure that we put a legend legend as a title in here. So uh, under format legend, legend, title, make sure that it shows. And then click apply. And then legend appears in the, uh, in the legend box. Okay, now that we have the North arrow, scale bar, and legend on our map, we need to add some text. We're gonna add three text boxes here. We're gonna add a title to the map. We're gonna add a, <clears throat> a subtitle, and we're gonna add a, 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 a text box called scale bar, okay? First, let's add a title. Okay. So to add a title, we're gonna go again, uh, under the insert ribbon in a text subgroup, click text. And then on your map, click anywhere that you want to put text. Okay. And what that does is it will bring up a, a tech, a format text box on the right hand side of your uh, screen. Now in the, in the, in the text window, I want you to type in Champlain Power Proposed Transmission Line. Once you have that typed in, now click text symbol. And you'll see a number of you'll see a number of different texts that you can that you can use here. I'm going to go ahead and use um, the watermark gray 25% transparency. 
once you click that, you'll see that uh, um, your text will change automatically. Once that's changed, you can grab that text box and move it to where you want it to be on your map. Now, if it's too small for you, again, just grab one of the anchor points and make it larger. Once you get it to the size you want, then you may need to reposition it. Once it's repositioned, go ahead and click text again up on the uh, ribbon, insert text, and then place that down in the lower left-hand corner. Go to your format text, click on text in the text box, click Baskin Nebo Interconnect. Once you have done that, click text symbol. Again, I'm going to uh, select the watermark gray 25% transparency. You can choose whatever you want. Once it appears in the text box, grab that text box and place it again, however you want. Okay, now we have one more text box to play to, to, to place. And that's going to be for, for a scale bar. So click text. Go back to your text window. Type in scale bar. Click text symbol. Again, you can choose whatever text you want. I'm going to pick the 25% uh, gray again. And once that, once you have that uh, uh, selected, you can move it wherever you want. Okay, now basically what we have done is we have put on a North Arrow scale bar legend, and we have titled the uh, uh, the map layout. This map layout is now complete and ready to use in your final project. So <clears throat> we have two things left to do. One, if you notice, uh, the map looks like it goes outside the the, the bounds of the of the map layout. So we're going to need to. Um, rescale that and to rescale that what we'll do is we will go to layout on the top ribbon we will we will zoom out and there we go now we have the entire map study area within the confines of the map layout now the next thing we need to do is export this to a PDF file so you can use it in your final report. To do that, on the top ribbon, collect share, and then <clears throat> export, click on layout, I'm assuming it's it's uh, pointed to your sample project fi file folder, if not you can put it wherever you want, go ahead and rename it. I'm going to call mine Baskin Nebo, and I'm going to click Export. I already have it there, so I'm just going to overwrite it. And once it's <clears throat> once it's done exporting, you have a document that you can use in your Final term project report.
Again, thanks for watching, and I hope this video was of some help for you.